If you're a talented mechanic with creative thinking, then the impossible is nothing. The engineering thought of these guys reaches a whole new level, while the result of the work causes not just admiration, but a completely conscious question, how did you manage to do it? They can restore an old car, invent a futuristic looking hybrid, and turn an ordinary sports car into a monster car. Today, we have prepared for you a collection of self-taught geniuses and their creations, which push the horizons of the laws of physics while creating an amazing fusion of aesthetics, power, and creativity. Now you have a unique chance to witness a collection of the most unusual and amazing replicas, car assemblies, and homemade cars of recent years. We shall start with a futuristic Willis Promod 1941 assembled by Blackstone Flight Cars. Its price is $65,000. And this car was built in 2020 on the basis of the Willis Duramax Coupe, released in 1941. The 1965 Trifecta Triple Bone Mustang looks no less epic. The owners of the modern BMWs would hardly be able to imagine that the company produced such incredible models in the last century. At the same time, the creativity of Adam Andreessen can only be envied. He managed to install a rear suspension from a dump truck on an old Chevrolet C10. It's quite easy to surprise the audience at drag racing competitions with the power of your diesel engine. Chevrolet Camaro is the dream of many fans of fast driving. The upgraded Dodge Daytona 1969 release with an engine of 2,500 horsepower looks intimidating. Now get ready to witness Il Tempo Gigante. This is an exact replica of the car from the famous Big Race movie released in 1975. By the way, it can reach speeds of over 300 kilometers per hour. The Mercedes company could hardly have imagined that talented craftsmen could turn their minibus into an all-terrain vehicle. It is even difficult to guess from what parts this miracle of technology is assembled and what its purpose is. And this school bus, manufactured by Chevrolet back in 1941, is still on the move. This is a Ford Bronco made in 1979. Perhaps its designers could not imagine that it could be upgraded to such a level. The monster in front of you is called Bigfoot and is built on the basis of Ford. Bob Ida was able to breathe new life into his 56-year-old Austin Healey. If Batman was riding a bicycle, then this vehicle would look exactly like this. In 
If you have ingenuity and engineering skills, you can easily build a self-propelled tracked vehicle. This is a 28-cylinder engine Wasp Major that was created in 1944. It was installed on some models of passenger and military aircraft. Are there bicycles that go faster than motorcycles? I wonder how such an idea can come to mind to make an SUV out of an ordinary hatchback. Can you imagine a 2002 Chevy Silverado with an exhaust pipe on the hood? It's really hard to believe. The Volvo company from Sweden has created one of the most powerful tractors in the world. The Belinder Monktel 470 was nicknamed Bison by the Swedes. As you can see, only truly talented artists used to create sketches of old Lincoln models. Even a simple restoration process can become a real aesthetic pleasure in the hands of a master perfectionist. Such a risky approach can lead to undesirable consequences, or maybe that's exactly what was intended? Chevrolet El Camino SS made in 1968 is rightfully considered one of the most elegant and vintage cars participating in the races. Sometimes, in order to uproot a tree on a plot, you don't need a tractor. The upgraded SUV easily copes with this task. If you are creative enough, even inventing a crawler motorcycle is not a hard task for you. This Pagani Zonda is an aesthetic gift to motorists from Italian engineers. And this engineer from Oklahoma restored a 1912 Packard Racer. Take a look at the final result. It looks astonishing. The Pigeon Forge Auto Show annually gathers thousands of fans of exclusive cars in the USA. This fabulous model became a masterpiece of the festival in 2020. And this newly restored Ford Mustang 1965 is a vivid example of a combination of exterior aesthetics and incredible power under the hood. Perhaps it's better not to stand too close to these exhaust pipes. Just the thought of that sound is already scary. Now get ready to witness a pure technological miracle. 
This is a hydrostatic diesel motorcycle that develops speeds up to 150 kilometers per hour. By using such a school bus, children are able to get to school in any weather and on any road. Assembled in France in 1923, the Bugatti Brescia impresses with its aesthetics and smooth lines. By the way, it's capable of reaching speeds of 125 kilometers per hour. In the Chevrolet Geo 1994, you can feel like a cartoon hero. British inventor Ed China elevated comfort to a whole new level and invented a sofa car. Vintage dragster racing has been attracting more and more viewers lately. Dodge Ram is one of the fastest and most powerful pickups in the world. It accelerates as fast as a light racing car and is capable of speeds over 180 kilometers per hour. This is one of the many self-made cars built by the Harry Cornis & Sons from Colorado. Just take a look at the unusual shape of the Model 1931 with an impressive rear suspension. The interior of racing Mustangs are no less impressive than their exterior. This truly infernal car is a Peterbilt 379 truck. They are increasingly used not for transportation, but to participate in the truck shows. Dodge Challenger on 34-inch discs is a symbiosis of audacity and elegance. Drag racing is a world of amazing speeds. These monsters accelerate to 100 kilometers per hour in a fraction of a second. Is it possible to build a racing car based on a tractor? The craftsmen from Nebraska were able to do that. Right now, you can see the so-called rat road. The essence of the concept is simple. One needs to assemble a powerful car from scrap metal and improvised means. It's amazing how maneuverable a heavy SUV can be in the hands of an experienced driver. Retro cars have become increasingly popular among motorists in recent years. Can you imagine the level of execution of the most complex manipulations in the suburban area? This incredible bike is a redesigned Rolls-Royce released in 1938. Even though this monster looks simple, it can reach speeds of up to 400 kilometers per hour.
Now take a look at this impressive Chevrolet Chevelle 1970 with a 7 liter engine. And this model looks no less impressive, even though it was manufactured in 1957. The MTT Y2K motorcycle, also known as the Turbine Superbike, was first introduced in 2000 and was equipped with a Rolls-Royce Allison 250 gas turbine engine. Swedish designer Mikael Kelman managed to successfully combine a car and a bicycle in one invention. As a result, he got a single-seat pedal-based car equipped with an electric motor. Perhaps the era of real transformers is already beginning. Such a mechanism is truly impressive. Engineers from Moran Motorsports know everything about engines. What could look more pretentious than a restored Buick Regal on 24-inch Velano rims? This upgraded version of Chevrolet is also called a Doom Buggy, and it is an authentic engine produced in the 70s of the last century. Just listen to this incredible sound. Chevrolet S3, presented at the Chicago Auto Show in 2012, became the highlight of the program. If you want to hold races on the beach, then Chevrolet Suburban 1500 is the best option. Could you ever imagine that a carriage could be equipped with a jet engine? Who knows, maybe the genius craftsman will be able to install such a monster engine on the Dodge Challenger one day. However, most likely, electric cars will completely displace cars with internal combustion engines from the market by that time. These geniuses from Howe Motorsports can easily assemble the loudest car for you. Racing Mustangs have a lot of explosive power that sometimes leads to similar incidents at the start. As you can see, the best name for this shockwave jet truck is a truck from hell.